I didn't know Link was a cast member in Bloody Roar. So, um, apparently Link likes bunnies, I guess? It's kind of So, funny. uh, would Link be a brown bunny in official art? Uh, maybe. Alright. Oh, no, we can't do that. Okay, I forget what the solution is exactly, or like where we... It's Okay, but you're supposed to head but you're supposed to head west. Oh, okay. <sighs> like head west when you arrived. Interesting theme with this. I I don't know if you hear this theme later. I was expecting like the usual dark wolf theme. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we're gonna hear that later. Cause uh spoiler alert, this is the dark world. I'd make a Thor joke, but I can't think of any. <laughs> Link will find an area on the ground that has two distinct diamond-shaped patterns. Okay. Stand on the one up to the right and use the magic mirror that we just got from the old man. This will transport Link back to the light world. Ah, uh, right. And that's how you'll get the piece of heart number 11. <clears throat> okay. So slow at climbing. Head dogs coming to join the commentary. It's a, it's a tradition at this point. No, no, to the right. Oh, the right one. This one? Yes. Ah, oh, right, this. Okay, oh, I see now. And I can go into that again if you want to go back. Uh, which. Can I, I feel like that can screw, screw you over sometimes because I. Like, you could uh, warp in a really awkward position and just mess things up. I jump off the ledge to the north, walk to the right and enter the building here, finally reaching the next dungeon, the Tower of Hera. Alright. What's this? Oh, I can, I can probably use the thing with the Medora. Hold up the Master nope. Sword and you'll get the Magic of Ether. Alright, we're gonna have to backtrack then. We're, we're not getting the Master Sword anytime soon. Oh, uh, we're getting, gonna get it pretty soon, actually, because we only need this one pendant that we can find it in the Lost Woods. We technically already found it before, but we couldn't pick it up. Alright, I'll explore the other stuff later, because I'm assuming the other side is another Master Sword thing. Oh, this place! I remember this uh, palace. From the start of the dungeon, slash of the crystal says, uh, you already did that. Walk down the steps located on the left side of the room. There are a pair of Stalthos and as well as a mini Moldorm enemy found here. You can defeat the enemies if you'd like, but you really just need to get the small key. Yeah. Either hit the crystal, bro uh, crystal block or just snatch it up with the boomerang. Oh, wow. Walk back up the staircase. <laughs> That's amazing. I like how you can just pick up with the boomerang. Stand just north of the lowered blue, ugh, lowered blue blocks near the dungeon entrance. Use the boomerang to hit the crystal switch, causing the orange blocks to lower. Okay. At the north end of the room, you can open the treasure chest found here to get the dungeon map. Avoid the red kodango that shoot fire at you and use a small key to unlock the locked door in the northwest, northwest part of the room. So, like, kodango's like baby dodangos. Uh, I guess so. Can I pick up rupees? Yay! So, am I going for here? Uh, let's see.
Oh, I think this uh, boss is Moldworm. That's gonna be interesting. So I remember that guy being annoying. That was actually just luck. I didn't plan that. Uh, you didn't get the dungeon map. Oh no, we've already got the uh, map. When did that happen? Uh, a little bit ago. Hold on. How do I open it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. The map and all that. Oh crap! Oops. My bad. Uh, how are we how are we doing for time actually uh, by the way? We're um, an hour and three minutes an hour and four minutes in. Alright, I have a clock. I actually have a clock in here now, so I can just look at that. There's like fifteen to uh one. Oh, I can't even open it. Wait, where do I use the <laughs> key? So, uh, north. Oh, this. Oh, okay, that's what I was supposed to do. I will say, this game has a lot of dungeons, but they're really short. Flying tiles in this room. Oh. In that case, I'm just gonna... Wait. How do I... Nope. Do I just have to wait for them to finish? <laughs> Break them with your swords, they fly by until all of them have been revealed. Flash the crystal switch to lower the blue blocks, and then head right a screen. Ninja Dodgers, go! I don't like it when they appear so close to me. So many. Ah. Oh my goodness. Spooky scary skeletons are back. And kill them a lot easily, a lot easier with the red boomerang. Takes a few hits though. Nice. I'm not liking that beeping. Walk back up the screen and make sure the orange blocks are raised before heading left. Nope, 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 nope. I'm assuming they still revive you in this game. So if that's the case, I'm not going to bother using them prematurely. So are you going the way I went earlier? Yeah. You have the big key now. Make your way to the southeast corner. Wait, wait. Hit the switch to raise the blue blocks and then head up the staircase. Make your way to the southeast corner of the room and head up the staircase down there. Wait. No, we're gonna have to hit the thing again. Oh boy. No. Uh. Oh, that's why it was talking about raising the... Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, good. Pixie dust. 
That's not a complete full refill, but that's good enough. Why are these things... They, they have, like, uh... Homing capabilities, I swear. Well, like you're going in a straight line. Yeah. <laughs> Please give me hearts. Nope. Let's be careful. Yep, okay. Alright. Make sure the blue blocks are up before heading up the staircase. So, let's get rid of this guy. Okay, and uh, aim it. Oh, I can just do it like this. So, pot is more powerful than sword. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Uh, like, in Ocarina of Time. Uh, a jumping DQ stick slash is uh, the equivalent to a Master Sword strike. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Oh, there's a compass. Now you can pinpoint over there. <laughs> I'm sorry, a compass works too. You know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna get over it. Nintendo logic. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm used to it just showing the treasures, chests. Does it show? You, like, how does that work? Look exactly. Oh, it's just a skull thing. Okay. I don't trust that. Oh. I want that. But how do I do this? Uh, let's see. Small isolated hole will appear near the north central portion of the room. Stand directly north of this hole and fall down to wait. Make sure it's making sense. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know if I want to just fall. After you've gotten the comp, after you were supposed, yeah, after you got the compass, you were supposed to make your way to the northwest corner of the room and head up the staircase. Okay. Ah, uh, what I think was gonna happen is I'm gonna have to fall down from another place and get to the chest that way. Yes. That's, that's right, yeah. Step on the floor starter is on the left side of the room. That's <clears throat> oh gosh. Ugh. Step on the floor starter is on the left side of the room and change the orientation of the holes. A small isolated hole will appear near the north central north central portion of the room. Stand directly north of this hall and fall down to drop to the floor below. Walk up and open a treasure chest to get a dungeon eye of the moon pearl. That is also totally not a Mario fireball, by the way. Out of what? Uh, over here. Oh, that fire bar. Yeah. I do not like these bumper guys. They need to go. Die. Oh my goodness, this guy's durable. Is he gonna die anytime soon? Okay. Should just hit him into the holes. Yeah, I can. Yeah, that's true. Nice. So that's the healing area. Uh, which hole? Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> You just step on the floor starter that's on the left side? Yeah. Alright, the small isolated hole up here near the north central portion of the room. Stand directly north of this hole and then fall down. Like th this one? I guess we'll find out. Oh, okay, cool. Moon powers fix the hero from changing effects with the golden power. Yay! Now we can go to the d dark world. Without turning into a harmless bunny. <laughs> Walk up 
walks down and makes your way to the northwest corner of the room, heading back up the stairs. It walks to the northwest corner of the new room, and you'll find a series of holes. Wait. Oh, crap. <coughs> Oops. Oh, just right here. Okay. It's fine. Walks to the northwest corner of the room, you'll find a series of holes. If you fall down the northernmost hole, Link will fall down a series of rooms falling into the large pots located on each floor. Uh, do we need to hit the switch again? Uh, it doesn't say. No. I, gu I guess that's a no then. What's in these? What? Okay, that's a tease. The northernmost hole, so... <clears throat> that yeah. would be the... It would be this one then, wouldn't it? Yes. Yep, we're going somewhere. So the pots are just placeholders. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, how far? Bottom. Dang. Oh, I can get a fairy again. Refill. Oh, why do I- I need to stop doing that. Alright, let's just go back to that. <coughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this game knows convenience. I like that. Anything else? For a game made in 1991, it does seem to have a better grasp on this. Some modern games, actually. Yeah. <coughs> Since you're, uh, since you're back to the higher floor, at the east end of the room, there's a series of pots surrounded by the lowered orange blocks. Each of these blocks has a recovery heart underneath. Oh, wait. Yes, these. Each of these blocks has a recovery heart Once you are ready, climb the steps to the northeast corner of the room to reach the boss chamber. Alright, let's do it. So, Mordorm. I think this is what this guy's called. So you just yes. had to hit the thing on the back. And, uh... He's a pain okay. just for the fact that he can push you off and send you back to the earlier areas of the dungeon. And it, I think he gets faster as well. Oh, so. Like Let's use the southern wall as a strat. I'm hoping. Oh my goodness, I was way too close. Yeah, after five sword slashes, Moldor will start moving significantly faster than the room. Yeah. But after that slash, he'll be defeated. Okay. Yeah. I oh my goodness, he sends you flying if you hit his anything but besides his weak spot. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's just the problem of like falling down like that. Ugh. Question: If you if you get knocked down to another floor, does his effectively does his health bar reset? I think. Oh. Yeah, that may. I that's what I've heard. One. Ugh. Nope. I thought that was supposed to be a. Uh, I thought that the southern wall was supposed to be a safety net. No, apparently not. We can use these to refill our health a little bit though. <coughs> oh, he might hit be here for a while. Hopefully not, but... You never tell with this. Last time I did this boss, it took me a while. Boss doesn't seem particularly hard to like a test of patience. Yeah, pretty much. No! No, when it's like oh, this. Just... When it's like this, it's just a pain. Now, this is not what I'd call good boss design, honestly. When it's more frustrating than anything, it's not good. Should I play the Zelda rap while we wait? Uh, if you want? I don't think I've heard it. Oh. Oh. It needs to, well, really, you can see the video to really 
I appreciate it. That was so cheap. I'll play the I'll play the song that I was inspired by. No, that inspired it. No, I would do that, but I think you get hit with a copyright strike. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> Okay, that's one. I'm not gonna bother doing a spin attack that might make things easier. Because I can move a lot faster if I don't do that. Nope, nope, nope. First hit, second hit. Okay! Jason uh, Crackers! Yeah, and he's moving faster now. So, theoretically, he should be dead after this one? Also, I guess he did count his hit. I guess the hits do count carry over. That's nice. Well, does it, though? Because uh, I, I hit him got, five. If he's gotten hit off, if he's getting faster already, then, you, then it does, the hits do count carry over. Well, it says it needed, I needed to hit him five times before he goes fast, though. Yeah, haven't you hit him five times already? Well, I hit, I hit him five times on this cycle. Okay. Oh. Oh, dang, damn it. I don't, I don't know if the spin attack, like, uh, makes it go down faster. Depends, I guess. Depends how many times your blade is able to do a full revolution. Yeah. Yeah, he's moving normal now. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is... I was so close, as well. One. Ish. Two. <laughs> uh, who designed this? Our Lord and Savior Miyamoto. Uh, I don't magic. know. <sighs> Did this guy come back in any other games? I hope not. I feel yeah. like I fought him. I, I feel like he. I feel like. Ugh. I feel like he was a boss in Four Swords Adventures. I don't know though. I think they made him come. I think he's in Link Between Worlds because that's like. Uh, a, yeah, he's in that because. Because Link to the Past remake. All nostalgia. Good nostalgia. Okay, at least I didn't fall into those holes. I, I, oh man, I'm getting so close now. I don't think I can get any more hearts. Yeah. No, no, try the other two. I think I've, well, I think I've used, I may have used them all up. I'm, if I fall again, I'll do the others. Uh, this is not a way to do hard game design. Okay, I'm not going to do that, it's not worth it. No. Nope. Not back though. <laughs> yeah, we used all all of them up. This is fun. I'm gonna try something. I don't think this is gonna work. It's worth a shot. If it even lands it. Nah, it's not gonna help me. If they made it slightly the arena slightly bigger, it shouldn't it wouldn't be that much of an issue. Why is this a thing? Ugh. His vocals are too darn erratic. I can't tell where he's going. It feels, yeah, it feels random. So if it, like, if it felt like he was trying to go up, down, up, down, like three times in a row, though. 
Alright, three. Ah. Uh, yeah, this sucks. Um, it's pretty cold now. It's the, kind of freezing actually. It's a bit icy outside. How's it over there? Depressingly cold. Yep. Oh my goodness. Last time we did a session, I ordered Chinese food. Oh yeah, I, made, I remember that. I may do it again because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay then. Is that going to be a trend in this playthrough? I don't know. <clears throat> can you please go somewhere where I can hit you? This is... So awkward. Ah. No, no, no. Okay, we're using the ferry up. I'd rather have that than fall down again. It doesn't really feel health like when it does that though. Oh, he's not dead. Please. Oh, thank you. That boss sucked. Yeah, man. No ands, if was, ands, ifs, or buts about that. Uh, now we have the free pendants, which means we can get the master sword. Yeah, we may as well just go and get that now.